war between Israel and Hamas is creating a new challenge for parents. How to discuss such a difficult topic like war with their children from, you know, talking to our very young kids all the way to middle schoolers and even teens. These conversations are really handled very differently. And joining us now to share her insights on how to best handle these conversations is Dr. Eden Garcia Bayless, who is the executive director of the Airport Marina Counseling Service. Um, Eden, thank you so much for joining us. Now, I have to ask you, you know, between, uh, you know, it comes at them, even if you try to protect them, you know, they hear it at school, social media, even the news, if they're in the room, they hear a little bit of it. How do we help them handle this? I mean, especially if you've got young kids, middle, yes. you know, a lot of families have all the different ages. So That's right. Mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right. They're exposed to it, whether it's in the news and mm -hmm. social media, and you really need to take age into consideration. Okay. So for younger children, keep it short and simple. Mm -hmm. I'm big about asking questions. Okay. So what have you seen? Mm -hmm. What have you heard? What do you know? And let them lead the conversation. Okay. With middle school, middle school age children, mm -hmm. they can handle more information. Okay. They can handle facts. Same thing, lead with questions. What do you know? What mm -hmm. have you heard? What mm -hmm. do you think? Mm -hmm. And facts are going to be important with mm -hmm. this um, age range. However, uh -huh. you want to keep graphic details away. Okay. Nobody needs to, knew, to, to see that. Yes. Um, it yes. can really lead to um, a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. And for high schoolers, they really have their own minds. They have their own opinions. They they yes. have their own feelings. So let them unload mm -hmm. and you listen. Okay. How do you, though, support them? Because, you know, you can't protect them from everything. And a lot of times there's protests happening locally. So what do you do to offer the support for them that they might need? If they'd like to follow the news or mm -hmm. look at videos, footage, mm -hmm. that's fine. But make sure that it's age appropriate. It okay. goes back to that age again. Mm -hmm. And you may want to find, as a parent, some of these outlets for okay. your child. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing is to set some limits. Mm -hmm. So it's important that your child isn't watching the news all yes. day. Yes that you set some limits and that you're also looking for information that is correct. So debriefing with your child, mm -hmm. asking them what they've seen and to ensure that they're not getting misinformation mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. How do you recognize if there is a problem with your child in dealing with all of this? So children can, um, there can be signs of anxiety, mm -hmm. such as clinginess, mm. such as um, not wanting to go to school, mm. difficulty sleeping, or changes in appetite. Mm -hmm. And again, then it's time to ask questions. This may be a sign that your child is really taking in everything mm -hmm. that's happening in the world, mm -hmm. and they need to ensure that they're safe. So yes. having conversations about the fact that you as a parent, it's your job to ensure that you're doing everything possible to keep your child safe. All right, great advice. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. Tough times that we, as parents, are having to deal with with our kids. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ma and you can find more information about Eden and her advice by, uh, you know, about talking to your kids about the Middle East conflicts. Just go to our website, kcalnews.com, and click Scene on TV.